Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and today I will be testing out the brand new version of Renovate Ice Room which in my opinion was the best one so far with the greatest Wicked overall score of 4.8 out of 5. Here are some features extracted from the changelog of this new 3.0 version. The ROM is completely rebased on QF7 official firmware and Renovate team added some interesting goodies which are displayed right now on the screen. By far since I'm a team maniac the most interesting one to me is the ability to change the navigation bar icon color. We'll Check that later. Anyways, this is Wicked and that means I'll do this review in a Wicked manner. You don't know what a Wicked manner is, let's check it out. I'll show you what this ROM is all about, how fast and stable it feels and of course the usual anti to benchmark and gaming test. Without further ado, let's get Wicked. So in order to install this ROM you will need TWRP recovery. If you don't know what TWRP recovery is or how to install it, check the video in the card section. Of course, the first step of getting this new version installed is to get into TWRP. A little disclaimer, currently I am running Renovate Ice R100 nightly release. Although I wouldn't ever recommend flashing a new ROM without wiping the data, since bugs may occur and so on and so forth, this time I will try and dirty flash it over the current ROM, since it is still a Renovate Ice 1 and see how things will go. So. No wiping this time into TWRP. Anyways, if you are coming from another ROM, I recommend you to wipe your device before flashing a new ROM. If you want to back up your current configuration and restore back later of course, check the video in the card section on how to do it. Right now, we'll go into install section and choose Renovate Ice 3.0 zip. Swipe to install and a ROM installer will pop up. Here you can check a more detailed overview of the changelog and of course you can customize your ROM settings, tweaks, CSCs depending on your preferences and at the end you should have the ROM installed on your device. You can reboot your device right now. Bear in mind that the first booting process may take some time. Okay, so. My phone booted up, I have been playing with it a couple of minutes and I couldn't find any false closes that may have been caused by the dirty flash and that's a great sign. Renovate ROM comes with an application called RISE, which will allow you to customize so many options regarding the user interface, tweaks, etc. For example, you can enable or disable immersive mode, enable all rotation degrees, you can disable the annoying loud volume and high brightness warning, also if an app freezes you can long press back to kill it fast. You can also set up a custom animation scale to make your device even faster. In the status bar section you can change the clock position, you can hide the battery icon, double tap status bar to go to sleep and what I really like is the ability to select the number of rows and columns of quick settings toggles. That's such a nice feature to have have in my perspective. Also you can disable the quick settings pull down while you're in the lock screen and uh, another interesting feature is the ability to add a beautiful blur effect while dragging the notification bar from top to bottom. You can also enable a battery bar in order to have a more self-explanatory representation of uh, how much battery you have left on your device. In the color section comes the greatest part because you can customize every color of the status bar and navigation bar. That's such an amazing feature this ROM comes with. If you're interested on how to team your device like mine to get a full black team, check out my theming tutorial in the car section. For now, let me change the navbar icon color to a wicked red one. Sometimes while applying some modifications you'll need to reboot your device. You can clearly see now how dope the navigation bar looks like. It's so sick. If I had to give a mark for this ROM only for the customization option that would be a definitely 5 out of 5. For me it is so minimalist, not so intrusive, just the feature you need frankly. Great work Renovate team. But since a custom ROM is not only about the feature it brings out but rather the overall feel and impression it gives you and how it fits to your needs, let's talk about the smoothness of it. You may already know that currently the 2.0 version of this ROM is the champion on the Wicked Wolf speed. So I'm really curious to see if this 3.0 version will stay there or not. In order to see that I will power up onto the benchmark and the score it got shows it again. This ROM is a beast. We have again a new champion on the wall of speed, the Renovate Ice 3.0. To be honest, the ROM is really fast and smooth. I had no problems or whatsoever with it. Let's talk about gaming performance. I had a lot of comments telling me that I should start testing gaming performance on a more GPU intensive game. So I went for Need for Speed No Limits and the initial gameplay went smooth and fast, no hiccups or whatsoever. So. I read the XDA thread and saw that many people complain about a camera bug, more precisely the panorama mode. I opened up camera app and panorama mode was nowhere to be found. Now this could be caused by the fact that I didn't freshly install this update so I wouldn't get further into that problem. On the official thread though there are people again complaining that there's still a bug with it 
in this release. Apart from that, I couldn't really find any bugs. The ROM packs beautiful features, beautiful theming, and if the weakest score I gave to the 2.0 version was 4.8 out of 5, this 3.0 will get 4.9 out of 5. I don't know about you, but for me, this ROM is absolutely close to perfection. I hope that in the future releases, there wouldn't be any bugs and the speed and smoothness will remain the same, along with the battery life. Again, great job Renovate team. This ROM is one of a kind. Battery life may be strictly related to the kernel, but uh, this time I couldn't find any huge drains. Soon I'll make a video review of all the kernels and their battery life, so make sure you subscribe to my channel in order to see it. Anyways, that was the review for today. I hope you like it. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.